Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about the Sonia G Pro brushes. So I have the full set of the Sonia G face, face set and the eye set. Um, I'm going to show you them today. So this is the full um, face set. This is the full eye set, which is here. Um, as you can see, um, in comparison to the other video that I am about to put up, the other set has the blue with gradient that goes to the black. This is the red gradient that goes to the black. I think they seem a little bit bigger as well, slightly taller. These, This is the whole collection, so I thought today we could go through um, each of the brushes and I will talk to you about what they are all meant for and then we will go into um, just a little bit of a summary at the end of my thoughts. So um, let's start off with the face set. So the first brush I thought we could talk about is the Face Pro. So um, this is the Face Pro. As you can see, it's um, really, really fluffy. It's also got a bit of a slant as well. Really, really nice. Um, feels absolutely lovely. Um, Sonia G is only sold on Beautylish. This collection is the one that she brought out before the Sky collection that I have put up. But um, this was the one that a lot of people are, are used to seeing. These brushes are Japanese handmade brushes, artisan brushes, and they are made in Japan. Each Every, every single brush is made individually by an artisan. And basically, uh, Sonia G had an interest in Japanese brushes, she was a collector and she went to Japan to start up her own line and it's only sold through Beautylish. The name for Japanese um, brushes is Fude um, and it is linked, linked to Japanese uh, calligraphy. This is the face, the face pro brush. This all over powder brush made with dyed and undyed Seiko Ho goat hair diffuses product for an evenly blended effect. So this is taller than the sky set so this is a larger uh, brush than the ones I showed you in the previous video. I really like it I think um, it's quite a nice face brush really good for powders all over the face um, it's really lovely the handle as well different to the sky set I think it's you feel like you've got a bit more control because it's larger um, very very nice so that's the face pro and the next brush is the Inno Chige Pro this is so beautiful. The camera's picking it up. This brush um, reminds me of um, Japanese calligraphy. It's got a kind of dome and then a tip at the top, but it's so beautiful. It's so I don't I haven't seen many brushes that look like this. Stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm inspired by the art of calligraphy, this paintbrush-like face brush made with dyed sai coho goat hair adapts to the unique contours of your face, um, absolutely beautiful. Um, I can imagine using this on my face, all over. It's quite detailed, I mean, it's got a pointy bit, so you know, you could add a little bit more detail in as well when you're brushing, but um, absolutely gorgeous. So the next brush I'm going to show you is the Fan Pro. This is so unusual. I don't know if you can see, I'm just zooming in. This brush is like really, um, it's so small, like it's a fan brush but it's like a tiny fan brush and I could imagine detail would be so amazing with this, especially when it came to highlighting, you know, a little bit on the Cupid's bow, a little bit on the sort of eye here, just to get the detail. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This fan shaped face brush made with Seiko Ho goat hair is perfect for gentle, buildable application. So this is a little bit smaller than the others. It packs a punch. It's very unusual and really, really nice. So the next brush I'm going to show you is the Detail Pro. This is what it looks like. This petite detail brush made with dyed and undyed Seiko Ho goat hair allows you to build colour and intensity seamlessly. I really like this. I think this would be really good for um, you know, like powder um, under the eyes after you've put on concealer. It feels so lovely and because the brush is quite long as well, you can really sort of work with it really well. I like the size as well. It's got a small head and you could, you could even, I mean, at a push, kind of try to put some eyeshadow on with it. But I mean, I, I think this is probably more of a face brush, but absolutely beautiful again. 
And then the final brush I wanted to show you is this one, which is the Cheek Pro. And that is what the Cheek Pro looks like. Really nice. A sculpt, buff, or set with what Sonia G calls the cheek brush of my dreams, made with dyed Sai Coho goat hair. What I really like about this one is it's a cheek brush, but it's really sort of detailed, so you can really kind of go into where you want this to go, just because it's smaller than your normal cheek brushes, which are a little bit more wider. I just love this. This is absolutely beautiful again. So this is a face brush. So these are the Pro Eye set. I thought we could go through them individually and I could tell you what they are really meant for. So um, let's start to do that now. So the first brush is the Pencil Pro. So the Pencil Pro, this is densely packed to give it strength yet remains super soft on the skin. The, the dome point size to cover as many purposes as possible. So you can use this to contour, the eyes, you can smoke out with it, you can intensify the crease replacement, build the outer V, intensify a transitioning uh, colour, blend the edges and spot place um, sparkly, shimmery or metallic shadow, smudging pencil, powders or creams. So you can do a lot with this one. The material is Sai Coho Goat Hair. I think this is great for a smoky eye. This does look like a kind of brush that you would use for a smoky eye, especially um, if you look closely, the dome shape as well. So yeah, I think this would be really suited for doing a smoky eye or an outer V, um, or just like placement of, you could even do like the inner corners, um, just because there's a point there and you should get in really well with that. Yeah, a really versatile brush. And the next one that I was going to show you is the Builder Pro. So this is the Builder Pro. So with this brush, this one is a flat tapered brush for packing colour onto the lid and building intensity while minimising fallout. And the tapered layer shape and density allow great control with the placement and uniformity with the application. Packing colour on the lid building intensity on the outer V, diffusing, smoking out an application with the tip of the brush, softening and blending the perimeter of the crease and transition color. But what I really like about this brush um, is that it's flat and at the same time, you can pick up quite a bit of product. And I think this would be really good for packing color on the lid. This would be really good for that. So another great eye brush. The next brush I'm going to show you is the Worker Pro. This is a universal eye brush designed to fit all eye sizes and shapes. Packing colour on the lid, crease work, transition placement, blending, diffusing and smoking out the lash line application and brow bone application. I don't know whether I would use it for crease work as such because I think that with crease brushes I tend to like to be able to blend. Um, you can but the shape of this is probably, it's a bit more flatter. Packing colour on the lid, definitely yes because it's flat. Transition placement, yeah, could work. And yeah, diffusing and smoking out the lash line application. Just because there's a point there, I think it would work really well when you're doing that. And when you're doing a smoky eye, this would look really nice. Would, would work really well to do that with. So yeah, another great brush. The next brush I'm going to show you is the Crease Pro. So I can get that into. The Crease Pro here is a medium sized crease brush that builds um, colour seamlessly, blends impeccably. Its uh, particular design allows elevated strength at the tip, of offering optimum control and minimising fallout. So it's good for placement of colour, crease work, and transitioning and blending. This one is really nice. It it's, does remind me of a crease brush, but the fact that it's pointy can give you a lot more, I guess, definition and you can use it as a crease brush. I think you can use it, yeah, in a multitude or number of ways, uh, just because there's a point, but it's, it's also quite, uh, it comes out like a crease brush as well, so you could use it as a crease brush, but I really like that. The next and the final brush in the collection is the Blender Pro. So I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. So that's the Blender Pro. It's a densely packed blending brush that distributes colour across the lid with a diffused finish. Base colour, crease work, transitioning, blending. This is like your typical blending brush. 
Um, it has that kind of look to it. it. Feels really lovely, and I can imagine the colour blending out beautifully um, with this. These brushes are special um, because they must have uh, brushes for all types of eye looks, designed to bring out the best in products of all textures and finishes. Thinner and more lightweight handles with a redesigned tapered shape to allow for effortless handling. And each brush is, brush is handmade from silky soft Psycoho goat br um, bristles by master craftsmen people in. Kumano in Japan. This is the whole collection here for you to see. I think this is different to the Sky Set in the sense that there are different types of brushes that are not in the Sky Set. So I think I noticed that that the smoky eye one doesn't seem to exist in the Sky Set. The pointed one I don't think exists there either. And then you've got this one in the face set, which is unusual to me. I've not seen anything like this as well as this one here, which is the the, this one is the Face Pro, which is really, really nice. And I think the star of the show is probably the Eno Cheeky Pro, just because I've never seen anything like it. I love the shape and the fact it reminds me of a calligraphy brush, and I've never seen anything um, like it. So I think those are the differences between the two. These are also longer, so I think you still get the names of all the different brushes on the on the handles I just think these are probably you know just another nice set to have that would complement the sky set so yeah I'm really happy with this purchase so Sonia G also sell, sells her brushes separately and as part of that this sculpt 2 brush isn't part of any of the collections she has I really like this particular one I'll show you it in more detail so that is the Sculpt 2 brush. What I really like about this is it's such a a nice sort of fan brush but it feels like thicker than what I would normally see and I feel like I could use this for a lot of things so not only contouring um, or highlighting um, I could use it for brush uh, blush as well and it just seems like really sturdy and it's just really really soft yeah so this is the Sculpt 2 uh, brush as well. Overall I think that um, I love this collection. Um, I love the fact that all the brushes are handmade and um, they complement the two sets that I have complement each other really well. I'm really looking forward to using it and um, getting good use over the years with it. Um, I think I'd like to um, see how they, yeah, over time how they look and how how they feel um, and how they work with with um, various makeup products. So maybe in the maybe in a couple of videos time I'll show you the, me using the brushes with makeup products that I'm trying so you can see how um, it looks. Um, if you have any comments please leave them below and um, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.